Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So recently I saw the movie Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but this time the cartoon movie version of it, which we've been like waiting for. Um, they did like the real, like real people versions. They did the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roger Rules, Dog Days, and Long Haul, which I all saw recently because once I saw the cartoon, I was like, might as well like watch the other movies too um but this time they did the cartoon which it looks like um like the drawings in the book but instead like they're moving and it's in a movie so yeah i'm gonna go over my reaction to the cartoon movie and then also the other four movies as well so i'll talk about diary of a wimpy kid the cartoon movie version i mean movie first so when like Freckly like asked Greg um if he wants to see like his secret freckle that was so gross and like ugh. I found Greg's family like eating around the table like pasta to be so cute just like the animation is so cute in this movie Manny was super adorable saying like he's only three in this movie the cheese touch is super gross it's just like the whole idea just like the cheese and then it smells then it's like moldy and it's just so gross i found rowley and greg doing their like handshake to be super cute and like when they showed like the school and they showed like that guy like sucking the water fountain i totally agree with rowley like with the water fountain being like very unsanitary like there was a guy like sucking on like the water fountain so gross and when they were saying like that the fastest kids in elementary school were like the popular kids that is so true i don't know why but like even in my elementary school like back in the day the fastest like kids were the most popular maybe it's just like an elementary school kid thing and when they were trick-or-treating because they're like bigger kids um that does happen like when you knock at like people's doors on halloween and you're a big kid people at the doors they do say oh it's a big kid and like they kind of like knock you for it and rowley like breaking his arm and then having a cast in this movie it's so true that like you suddenly become like the most popular kid in the class or the school just because like you have a cast and like you're so busy because like people are so busy like signing it and i find greg to be super like so mean to rowley for no reason i get it like he wants to fit in and like be popular but like he's so mean to rowley but it was nice of Greg to say that he ate part of the cheese at the end of the movie instead of Rowley and then they made up as friends. Okay, moving on to Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the real people version movie reaction. Like, this is my reaction to it. Um, Greg, like, waking up at, like, 4 a.m., like and then quickly eating cereal and getting ready was so funny like i know roderick like pranked him like saying that like you know he's late for school but like that was so funny i also felt bad for greg and rowley and also frankly like eating like by the garbage cans because there's no seats at lunch and like greg wanting to like gain weight like because he's like in wrestling and he doesn't like want to be like small I can totally relate to him gaining weight because I'm also trying to gain weight. Gaining weight is hard. You have to like eat a lot and yeah, it's just a lot. It was also cute that like Greg thought like wearing a tie to school would like impress everybody. <laughs> and it's so funny how like the snow when it became like winter, the snow like falls around the cheese and like the cheese on the on the like um on the um black ground like i mean on the basketball court like it just gets moldier and moldier and so gross i also felt like sad for rowley getting kicked off the safety patrol and he doesn't even like know what he did and i'm proud of rowley for sticking up to greg like telling him that greg isn't a good friend and greg at the like auditions for the school play like who knew greg could sing and it was so funny like on the performance night um manny saying bubby or something to greg and pointing and then like greg pointing to another tree and then like he stopped singing and then everybody stopped singing and then like the uh play teacher like she like thought they forgot their lines so she was like mouthing the lines and then like it was just so funny and then like 
fast forward to like the next day the bullies like bully that guy the tree that like manny pointed supposedly pointed at and said bubby but instead greg said oh your brother calls you bubby so funny i just want to say that i like how rowley isn't afraid to be himself like he's not ashamed he's not embarrassed he is like 100 percent just himself all the time and also i found that girl and like the bleachers like hiding in the bleachers to be like creepy and like weird i don't remember her in the books but maybe i have to reread the books again okay moving on to roderick rules the movie i found shira gupta like knowing everything about holly hills and then telling her at the skating rink to be so funny like the fact that he knows everything about her and like oh my gosh i remember in like grade eight like in my school like we had to create a dance and like of course we also danced to uh tiktok by kesha so like it just brings back those vibes and Rowley's like football phone is so cute and he's like so adorable like being so happy and dancing with like the high school kids at Roderick's party and I found Roderick's rules to be super funny and lazy just the fact that he was able to get his dad to do all his homework I'm also glad that Greg got to talk to Holly at their retirement home and find out that she actually mistakenly called him Fregly and they kind of like got to connect a little bit with their siblings and lastly i just want to say that i liked greg and rowley's magic show performance and like when roderick was like performing with loaded diaper like not the mom like dancing and then everybody paying attention to her like uh, loaded diaper and roderick thought like all the like the cheers and the audience was like like for his group the loaded diaper but it's actually for his mom dancing to it and then moving on to the dog days movie the men's change room at the beginning is exactly like how i imagined the men's change room would look like and be like and then i found greg like sharing fregley's history book or one of the textbooks in class to be super funny i was wondering why like fregley has an owl that he pets in the class but Frankly, is an odd character and the country club that Rowley's like parents go to like it looks so fun I also found the like girl behind Greg on the diving board to be so mean also Roderick singing Justin Bieber's baby song to Holly was so bad like it was just such a bad like it was so bad just I'll leave it at that but at least like at the end like Holly and Greg, they hold hands and they're like together. So that was super cute. And then lastly, I just wanted to go over my reaction to Long Haul, which is the last movie. I don't know if they're going to make any more, but in this one they recasted, which I was a little bit upset about, but like throughout the movie, I got used to these actors. So it didn't really matter. And I get why they had to recast because like he's still in middle school. The hot like Cheeto hot tub was so gross. Like when the Cheetos like were in the hot tub and like he became like orange. And I found those kids with like the bearded guy at the hotel to be like such brats. Like I also found it to be good karma that the bearded guy got Roderick's like fried butter throw up all over him. And I just want to say that out of all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies, I was most excited about seeing this one, The Long Haul, because I was just like excited to see how they would like film it. And I just wanted to like see it like filmed in a video format rather than like reading it, like seeing them at the carnival, seeing them, seeing them get chased by that bearded guy and seeing them get the pig and then like their whole like car ride like the dynamics and yeah i just wanted to see all of that so they really did everything good and i just found it so funny how manny actually learned spanish from the mom like forcing everybody to listen to the learn spanish in the car like the cd and like the fact that manny could actually speak like fluent spanish to the guy that like was trying to help them with their when their car broke down and like the fact that manny like got them to that farm where they returned the pig and then he finally got the pig back like just how everything ties in together and i just found that like their family was meant to have that pig <laughs> and yeah that's my reaction to all the diary of a wimpy kid movies i have read all the book except for the newest one and then i'm also i started the rowley books because rowley jefferson also started like 
creating diary books so i read the first one already um and then there's two more and then i also have to read the newest diary of a wimpy kid book but i think i'm gonna reread the diary of a wimpy kid like all the series the books because i forget what happens and like just watching the movies makes me want to watch it um so yeah the newest cartoon movie is out i would check it out it's so adorable it's only about an hour and yeah that's my reaction to all the diary of a wimpy kid movies the cartoon movie and the in-person i mean the real life people movies too so with that being said i'll see you guys in another video